Have you ever heard of Middlesh Kumar Srivastava, a.k.a. Nadwalal, from India? Middlesh Kumar Srivastava was an infamous figure often compared to Robin Hood. He gained notoriety for repeatedly selling iconic Indian landmarks like the Taj Mahal, Parliament House, Red Fort, and Rash Trapati Bhavan. Leading business tycoons such as Dhirubhai Ambani, Tata, and Birla were also among his victims. Nadwalal even created controversy around his death. Some believe he died in 1996 at the age of 84, following his last escape from the police, while official records state he died at the age of 97 in 2009. The character of Notorious Nicholas in the recent Netflix documentary Little Nicholas, Life of a Scoundrel, is reminiscent of Nabwalul. Unlike many, Francisco Nicholas Gomez Iglesias, known as Fran or Little Nicholas, a teenager from a middle-class family in Spain, received an official invitation from the Spanish royal house. At just 14, he began his career as a public relations executive at a Madrid nightclub. Excelling in public relations, he aimed for bigger goals beyond his current job, so he crossed into politics. Using information as his only investment, Fran started a successful business. Nicholas developed close ties with kids from high society, where he would get intel for 200 euros at lunch and sell it for 2,000 euros at dinner. This lucrative scheme made him increasingly wealthy and influential over time. However, his thirst for power led him down a deceitful path. He defrauded numerous businessmen by falsely promising them profitable business opportunities through his political connections. To enhance his credibility, Nicholas hired a bodyguard, rented multiple cars, and purchased a luxurious apartment. To create the impression that he had government connections, Nicholas installed a blue light on one of his rented cars. He also displayed a fake government logo on his car, suggesting he was a government representative. This was just the start of his infamous activities. Fran's thirst for power knew no bounds. He went as far as to present himself as a collaborator of the CNI, National Intelligence Agency of Spain, and even attended the coronation of Spanish King Felipe VI under a false identity. However, every story has a beginning and an end, and for Fran, it came to an end when he was arrested by the National Police of Spain in October 2014. He faced charges such as forgery, fraud, and identity theft. Despite this, Fran claimed he was working for the CNI and the Spanish royal family. He also claimed to be the president of the Youth Organization of the People's Party in Monclo Aravaca, a district in Madrid. After his arrest, Fran garnered significant media attention and earned the nickname Little Nicholas. His photo was downloaded 600,000 times on the internet, and with this, he became a part of Spanish pop culture. A song was even created in his name, which also gained millions of views online. He appeared on numerous alternative news channels, shaking the administration of Spain to its core. In response, the court established an autonomous special unit to investigate the case, a historic move for the Spanish judiciary system. At just 21 years old, Fran had made an impact on the systems of Catalonia and Spain. To learn the full story of Nicholas, you'll have to stream it on Netflix. The documentary series has an astonishing and shocking plotline, but its narrative falls short of being appealing. While they try conventional methods like interviews and storyboards, the storytelling lacks engagement. The screenplay is informative, which is good to some extent, but the overloaded narrative can make it hard for viewers to breathe. The series gives special preference to a contemporary style, where makers present nonfiction in a more dramatic way. Thus, you get the crux as well as be invested in the narrative's unconventional storytelling approach. During the interview, the lighting setup for Nicholas gave the impression that he was something greater, almost like a monk. Francis Nicholas was undeniably special, a prodigy. Perhaps that was the message they intended to convey with the lighting setup. The dramatic treatment they applied using the background music was worth appreciating. The background music enhanced the screenplay, and you will feel its impact prominently throughout the one and a half hours. 
Adolescence is a time to build your character. It's a period where you can soar to great heights or veer off course. Unfortunately, Francis chose the latter and squandered his bright future. Despite his talent, he engaged in wrongdoing instead of using his talents for good. It's a lesson to think carefully about your actions during your teenage years. The three-episode doku series conveys that adolescence is indeed very fragile and one needs to handle it with care. On the whole, you can say Nicholas is nothing but a wasted talent. The message is loud and clear throughout this non-fiction series. However, in the internet age, presentation is key. As a creator, you must keep the audience engaged with both the screenplay and the subject matter. Overall, if you're a fan of Tinder Swindler, FYRE, or Madoff, you'll love Little Nicholas, Life of a Scoundrel.